Hello, my name is Chris Willis, and I'd like to give you a very quick introduction to the new search on Footnote. The new search on Footnote has been designed to make it easier for you to sift through lots and lots of images to find what you're looking for. Let's try an example. Here we've typed in Hansen, and you can see we have many results, some from World War II, some from the Civil War, the Vietnam War, and even birth records and naturalization indexes. Let's then take a look at the left-hand column and click on Category. Clicking on any items in the left-hand column will narrow your search very quickly. In this case, we only want to see documents from the Civil War. We can also then choose State, New Hampshire, We now have just three to choose from. An easy way to evaluate your choices is to click on Quick Look. Quick Look gives us a little bigger thumbnail to investigate and shows us some of the extra information that's been associated with this image. We can do the same with any of the other images. In this case, we might think this looks interesting, so we'll click on it. Clicking on it brings it into the high resolution viewer. We can then zoom in, see that indeed that is the person we're looking for, and we can save that to our gallery. We can also go back to our search results, and we can try something else. Many times, names are spelled many different ways. We can remove the Hansen keyword criteria, and in doing so, you will notice on the left-hand side that last name has appeared. We can then use an asterisk or wildcard character to help find all different spellings of Hansen. And you can see we have Hansen, Hansen with an O-N, Hinson, Honston, and Hutchinson. Let's click on Hinson. You will also notice that your recently viewed documents will show up in the left-hand column. You can see your recently viewed documents at any time by just clicking on your recent activity in the upper right-hand corner. If you feel that this image is worth saving, you can also save directly from search results. Just click Add to your gallery. Your gallery is always available to you by clicking on the link in the upper right-hand corner. Another easy way to organize what you've found is by creating a collection. To create a collection, simply drag and drop your images to the upper left hand corner and then name your new collection. In this case, we'll call it Civil War Records. And let's see how that might work. Again, let's type in Hinson. And let's add this 1860 census document to that gallery. One final thought. As you click on the left-hand column to narrow your results, the criteria given to you will become more specific depending on the title or collection you are looking at. Thank you for taking the time to learn a little bit more about footnote search.